This accident happened as the motorist glanced over at a crash as she was passing by. Next thing she knew, she was airborne. In this exclusive interview, she tells Amber Cogliano she is lucky to be alive. First responders are on the scene of a car crash. Now watch the car on the other side of the highway. <laughs> The vehicle hits a tow truck ramp and goes soaring 120 feet in the air, then smashes onto the road. It's being compared to the classic opening of the Dukes of Hazard. Just a good old boy. 1050, 1050 roll over. Immediate roll. The aftermath was captured on police body cam. Y'all got anybody hurt? Five driver is hurt. Five fighter medics were on scene with her at that time. Who could ever survive this? Well, here she is. Tanasia Bruton says she was driving alone when she got distracted by the accident on the other side of the highway in Georgia. She didn't see the tow truck in front of her until it was too late. I tried to break like really fast, and by the time I was trying to break, it was too late. Tanasia says as she was catapulted into the air, she hit her head on the steering wheel and blacked out. The 21-year-old mom of two suffered a broken neck and a lacerated spleen and liver. Her husband and kids have been by her side. The hard part is just not being able to hold him. Making the recovery harder for Tanasia is the fact many on social media are faulting her for rubbernecking. Her attorney, Matt Foster. Who's to blame here? We have an ongoing investigation. What's undisputed, if you look at the police report and if you look at the video carefully, is that that tow truck that was involved in this crash was parked right in the middle of a fast lane. She was thrilled to be reunited with the first responders at South Georgia Medical Center. An absolute miracle. Who saved her after her Dukes of Hazard-like moment. One study found rubbernecking may be the cause of as many as one-fifth of all car accidents. We asked the tow truck company about claims that they were at fault. They said no comment.